Okay, this is Pat Love again from Love Healing Hearts. Listen, I'm piggybacking on the other thought. What are you afraid of? What are you worried about? Listen, you ever see a... I just got through eating popcorn, so forgive me, you guys. <laughs> anyway, what are you worried about? We live under the covering of God. So... When you worry about what the enemy might do and what they might do and the threats and the fear and, and, and the intimidation and the weaponry and, and woo, that's the boogeyman, baby. The real deal is God. All God has to do is inhale and every one of them babies can drop like dead flies. So listen, you ever hear the song, the Lord is my light. And my salvation, the Lord is my light. And my salvation, the Lord is my light. And my salvation, whom shall I fear? Psalms 27, listen to this. The Lord is my light. And my salvation, whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of, of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even mine enemies and my foes, came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Though an host should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war should rise against me, in this will I be confident. Where is your confidence? Tell me that. Where is your confidence? If somebody holds a gun to your head or holds a knife to you, or you see them with a bazooka or whatever, whatever the weapon is, and all you have on your body, on your person, is the name of Jesus, which weapon are you going to trust? Hmm? Are you going to run and duck and hide and cry and holler when you see the gun? Or are you going to stand on your word, on God's word, and look the gun and the person dead in the eye? Say, oh no, I rebuke that in the name of Jesus. That gun will not go off. And I command you to put that gun down. I forbid you to shoot that gun. I don't care if you whisper it. Because you know what? We are not fighting against flesh and blood. But against principalities. Against rulers of darkness of this world. Against spiritual wickedness and high places. We are dealing with the invisible realm. And that is what is manipulating and controlling people. With these horrendous acts of hatred. But you serve a mighty, risen Savior. All power, all authority was given to him. So why aren't you using it? Why aren't you usurping your authority? I'm not going to say much more than that. I just ask you to go back to your word. And read who Jesus really is. Do you hear me? God is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all you could ask or think. According to the power that works in you. What power is working in you? Is there any power working in you? God bless you. Please, whatever you do, fear not. Neither be faint-hearted. Read Isaiah chapter 7. Isaiah chapter 7 tells you not to be worried about the threats. Your knees shaking like the wind because there's fire coming out of the dragon's mouth and smoke coming out of his nose and his tail is wagging with, with the threat of death. Isaiah chapter 7 says, don't even worry about that. It shall not stand. It shall not 
come to pass. But here's the catch. If you do not believe, you will not be established. Listen, you guys, we got to believe. We have to have faith. We have to trust and obey. Trust God. Trust God. He is the lover of our soul. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness therein. And all of them that dwell on this planet belongs to God. Whether they're right or wrong, he's the creator. God bless you. Be encouraged. You have no need for fear. And guess what? If I die, if you die, if your, your family dies, like my husband and my parents did, guess what? It's not over. That's called a new beginning. There's still no need for fear. Think about that now. If you believe. There's a song from Disney, There Can Be Miracles. If you believe. Ooh, feeling it. I know you probably heard it. There can be miracles. If you believe, just please, whatever you do, believe in the miraculous, powerful, mighty works of God. Amen. Amen. We're in good hands, you guys. God bless you.